blessed day to all of you, dear uh, fellow worshippers here in the shrine and also those who are with us through this live stream. What would be the, the question here is, what is the importance of this commandment and why does the church place these commandments within the, this context now of Lent? Maybe a little bit of a history would enable us to understand why the, uh, the teaching on the law and commandments is placed here in the context of Lent. You know that in the early church, Lent has twofold, or even now in fact, twofold purposes. One is to prepare the catechumens, meaning those who are being prepared for baptism on Easter day. And then later on, these baptized Christians would fall into sin again. And so there is the so-called second baptism, which we call now the reconciliation. Those who did grave sins had to prepare again themselves to be reconciled on Holy Thursday. So 40 days now of preparation, the last days of preparation, intensive preparations for the reconciliation also. So in this two concerns of Lent, well, of course, aside from that is the preparation for, for Easter, no? Is the, uh, how to help these Christians who are preparing themselves for baptism or preparing themselves for reconciliation. And one of the parts of this, it is a very methodical preparation it is not just prayer, very concrete catechesis and solid, shall we say, preparations. And one of these concern is the commandments. Now, there is a part in this process where the uh, authorities of the church would hand them the commandments, no? hand them over to the uh, command to the catechumens and they had to study, meditate, pray and after some time they would come back and able to recite, present and probably also their, to present their understanding. That's why we have in these, even if it, we do not have this uh, catechumenate so uh, important in our uh, church now, especially in the context of, of uh, early baptism, ch uh, children's baptism, yet this has remained, you know, the insistence on the importance of commandments, the law and commandments of God. Because the early church saw oh, that the commandments provide the basic perimeters for the conduct of Christians. Why? Because it, it provides us the basic understanding of our relationships, of how we should relate first to God, to parents, to people around us, to things, basic teachings about how a Christian should conduct himself. So there is a very important uh, function of uh, the commandments, especially in the, for uh, these uh, catechumens. It provides them the 
perimeters for their conduct. And in this way, hopefully also <clears throat> form their Christian character. And uh, as the reading, especially the first reading today, it is based on this uh, conviction that uh, these people, the people of God who receive the law, consider them as a source of wisdom and discernment. In every decision that we make, unless one is irresponsible, of course, you have to have sets of criteria to judge and base your discernment or judgment. Hindi pwede na, ah, ito lang yung gusto ko. So, that is the perspective of the spoiled brat, unthinking Christians. And here, the Lord is emphasizing us and making us realize the uh, importance of the law and the commandments as a source of wisdom and discernment. A source, a criteria in order to help us make good decisions first and foremost of our own conduct test our own decisions, our conduct against this. No. Of course, later on, we will see Jesus summarizing this law into two. The law of love. Love of God and of one's neighbor. Yet, it doesn't cancel out the pedagogical importance of the law that it is in this living out of these concrete parameters that we form ourselves as persons as Christians many I think share the sentiments that we do not like law because the idea of law is that it limits your freedom. Especially, but we know also that people who, have, who are not used to limits, how many evils are committed because of people's not knowing their limits, like the spoiled brats. If they did have not learned limits when they were a child, they think that they can do anything in society as if they own the world and declare war and uh, what? Because they probably their sense of limit is lacking. These are the at times the problem with the megalomaniac umiikot yung sarili, yung buhay at paningin sa sarili. No limits at all. And this is dangerous. No. When you think that you can do what you want, no, where would you go? then you can, you can declare that this is mine, that I do what I want at the detriment of others. And this is a very important lesson for all of us because as Christ would say, I have not come to abolish the law, but to fulfill them. So also in our lives, no, the basic expression of our fidelity to God, the basic expression of love for God and neighbor are these minimum requirements of the commandments. To honor God, 
to honor other people, respect other people, no? not to steal, and many other. No? These are fundamental ways of loving God and neighbor. Minimum. No? Because later on we will see that beyond this minimum is the law of love, and that is thinking not only for yourself anymore, but for others. Dear friends, just like the early church insisting on the importance of the commandments as a formative instrument to form the Christian character, our character as followers of God and of Christ, it is also important that today that uh, we recognize again these laws, commandments, not only of the laws of God, but also of the, of the, of the world, of uh, the country, that you have to pay taxes, that is part of loving God and neighbor. No? And other, no? other responsibilities that we have. So, Lent calls us to, this, to the meditation of the law of God in order to at least provide us with the basics. No? And hopefully, as we practice these commandments, that we grow and come to that maximum of the commandments, and that is love, the commandment of love. Pero kung minimum, wala na, saan ka pupulutin bilang, do you think that you would jump to, no? to the commandment of love, to the maximum, if the minimum you cannot even do. That is the challenge for all of us. May we help also, especially the young people, no? yung mga apo, mga anak, to train them to have limits. Because spoiled brats mga salot sa salipunan minsan ang kalalabasan. And it is important that we learn that we do not own the world, that we have limits. No? And it is important to realize that just as I am limited no? before God, we are creatures and we cannot pretend that we are gods neither. No. This is a very important lesson for all of us to continue no, start doing the minimum of the commandments and ask the Lord that we may progress and come to that fullness of the law and that is the law of love. Amen.